Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. At the end of the last episode, I prepared for basically doing the sieving. So let's get on and do the rest of that. There's quite a lot of bits of work pieces to do. So let's go through the magic doorway and then go down the step. The ladders which I can't get ever into position. Don't ask me why. There we go. So we basically produced this. So this was the lava production using these awesome blocks, which are awesome. That's basically coming into here to produce obsidian. The obsidian is getting fed into this chest and then being mine chemed into here. But there is a problem. I need to fix that. We can do that probably today. Because it is blocks at the moment with magnesium oxide. And then that's getting fed into here, which we've actually run out. So but it doesn't matter for what we need at the moment. We've got 34 stacks of gravel. So that's been converted to gravel, and now we need to take that gravel and do something with it. So we're going to sieve it. So let's take a sieve out of here. So I've got an auto sieve in this one. This is a fairly X asterisk rebirth sieve. And I'm going to put in some of these. Actually, I'm going to put in 48 these because if I use more it uses more power at the moment it's using I can't see let's just turn off the any any eye and that's 520 RF per tick I think our maximum production is 500 so let's in fact let's just put in half of these these fortune upgrades so now it's gone down to 360 so we should be able to maintain that level so the first thing I need to do is to open a roundel here. And I'm going to open this roundel here, I think. So I need to go to the reconfigure mode, right click that. And I'm going to put into here the cable interface for, for energy. Like that. So the energy conduit one. And really the TARDIS mod is really designed for the energy conduit, uh, for the, uh, for three different mods um, or to interact reasonably well with three or four different mods one of them being is Ender IO so let's get that out of the way so that the sieve now needs power I'm not using I'm just using the basic energy conduit I should really upgrade this because if I actually let's put that onto there like that and you'll see the power comes in quite nicely if I actually put all 64 of these in here then the power is at 680 RF per tick and the maximum capacity of these is 640 so it would always run out which is bad too so i'll have to get some more powerful or higher to maximize this like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to take out of here and move this out i don't think i need that just yet i will need this because i want to make move some roundels around and stuff like that and i'll need the yetta wrench as well i won't need the magnet we'll keep that out of the way but we will need some uh, item ducks. In fact, we'll put them like that. I think it's probably the best thing to do. So, we'll put an item duck down here, item conduit like this, and we're going to say basically extract almost everything out of here, but not quite. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a chest. I'm basically going to feed this out of here. In fact. I'm going to just redesign this a little bit. Let's so move this out of the way. Because what I want to do is I want to put it here. The reason I want to put it there. What do I? No, I'll leave it here. Yes, we'll leave it here for the time being. Like that. I will then change the direction of this, simply right clicking that will actually put it to the right direction. So therefore all the gravel is going to get sift. So let's come along here now and reconfigure this one. I can actually use the rest of the if I hit the right bit it won't turn things around. So I'll just simply set this to auto extract, extracting everything. So that's now sending this to be sift and this is going to start sieving this. Now the output from the sieve, we've got to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to put a chest up here to start with. 
is an ordinary chest and I'm going to connect that with item ducts like this what's nice about ender eyes you only need one block so everything's pretty straightforward and we'll I'll put it up here like this because I want to send into here a filter it what I want to do is let's get this filter out of here and then click right click this and then put this filter into here so it's the insert filter and what I want to insert into this chest are specific items so let's have a look what we've got at the moment yeah, we've got a few flints we'll take those and we'll put those into this filter here like that that's been one of the first items what I'm going to do later on is send it out of here in fact as you can see here there's this one I'm going to turn this off to start with right click this twice and then it's not going to get any chance of anything being pulled into to the system or the this process with that that we're not that we don't know about I can't open the chest that was bright wasn't it let me just move this down one then or make a hole above it I'll make a hole above it it'd be easiest because I want to see both now we can open the chest put that put that piece of stone in there, uh, cobblestone in there. So now we should get flint into there if we've got more flint into here. So let's have a look at this. There's no flint in there at the moment. So, and I don't think this is set to auto extract yet. Let's just have a look at that. Make sure it's set to auto extract. Always extract. So we've got a white listed items in here. So the only thing that can come into here now is flint. So we have to wait a little bit we got lapis lazuli as well that's good that's the next item we can put into this filter there's actually six I five items gold emerald and gold coal emeralds diamonds lapis lazuli and flint so we got these five items I hope that's right and then we can whitelist those so any of those items will go into here but let's do it to start with and we can read on waiting we got now we've got a piece of coal in here so let's do that as well and put this into this filter put this into this just up here like that and see now that just increased by one so we've got another flint and we should also get some diamonds and some emeralds out of here so what i'm going to do now is take out of here some of these i of these items that we're getting in here and I'm going to feed these next items into a, a crafting unit. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to move everything along a little, so it's all along this row of these items here. So basically what we want to do is anything else that comes out of here is going to be crafted. And then it's going to be hammered. And this is where I need to change the roundel. No, I don't. I can leave the roundel as they are. I've only got one hammer and one, and I only need three crafters and one hammer. And everything else is going to be fed back into this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open this roundel here for power. And yes, that'll do fine for power. Um, this is going to screw down again, and it's already in reconfigure mode. That's good. Let's put it like that, and then put in a cable interface in here like that. And then we're going to drag the energy conduit. And these don't need much energy. They need power, but it doesn't. It doesn't need to be so used so much. We can actually take this over the top like this. Feed everything from the top. Might be good to do that. And I'll remove this one here by right-clicking this. So it goes off. So there you are. So these two machines are now powered. And as you see, the power's coming into here. But they need, this one needs recipes, and this one's already fully charged. In fact, I removed that, but I didn't put the the fortune upgrade in again, so that was bad. But we've got some more. Now we've got some silver, and we've got some... How many have we got now? I think, I think we're still missing one or two. There should be seven different ores. At the moment, we've only got five. We'll need to wait for the others to come through. What am I missing? Gold. A couple we've got. Silver, tin, lead and lead. Gold and lead we're still waiting for. 
So hopefully they're going to come through fairly soon. You see here, the, those went out. And we could put speed grades up in here as well, but speed, we don't really need, we don't actually need that much in here for the time being. In fact, let's uh, carry on putting these machines down. Oh, we're still waiting for things. So when things get hammered, they'll need to be recrafted again. So we need to craft those two items like this. We need one for the gravel, one for the sand, and one for the dust. And then finally, at the end of the chain, we need to smelt it. So I'll put the smelter down here like this. And we're going to put make sure that we've got the octet tested capacitor in there because we need basically that minimizes the energy so let's put the power all these machines up like that so and the last one here i'm going to take the energy the, the conduit here and i'm going to feed that between the two machines here and i'm basically going to say anything that's actually comes out of these crafting units is going to be smelted I'll look at it later on, but there's nothing else you can do with the crafting units. Um, with the dusts, there's no other recipes, they're just straightforward. Oh, smelt only recipes. So we can set this to be f furnace mode only, as you can see. So the next thing they're going to have to do is bring the item ducts around here, like this, to force everything out of here. I'm just hesitating a little bit because I'm so anything else that we must go into here so everything else that's in here must go back into this into this crafting unit here which are these things here so I'm just waiting for the other two to come through let's have a look what have we got in here good gold we've now got and we've got lead great fantastic so now I'm going to sort my inventory again and have a look at this so I'm going to do it in this order. So I'm going to do aluminium, and I'm going to create the recipes for this. And we're going to remember this. So I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't automatically craft to start with. So oops, I should have clicked the recipe first. Click the recipe first and do that like that. That creates one ore, like this, apply that. And I'm going to put this into here like that, and that's going to be the first lot. I thought it was turned off. So it shouldn't craft. Okay, maybe I got that wrong. Next one we're going to do is copper. And apply that. That's good. And put the copper into here like that, and then we know that one. Next recipe, gold. Put that into there and apply that. I'm just thinking I've actually forgotten something I need to do. Never mind. Next one is iron. And apply that. You see it's not producing this, and this is deliberate. Lead. Let me move this down pat here. Oh, it's good, you can actually click it when you've got it in your hand and apply that. Silver. And finally, tin. Apply that. I've forgotten something I need. So let's quickly go back and get something I've forgotten. What I need is I need a filler. I've got no fillers on uh, on me at the moment, and I need about 64 fillers. So there's a screwdriver. Let's transmit my way back to the crafting area. And I want some wood. Let's just take a some wood. I need 16. I'll just take a stack and just process some of these. Sixty-four. I think sixty-four will be enough, just in case you're not all leave we'll keep the other stuff with us as a filler. No, I, I can't transmit my way back again. I can actually transmit my way. If I do it, it comes out at the front door. So if I'm here and I right click here now, I come outside the front door, which is interesting. One of those features I didn't know. Let's if I can get down this hole first time. So, nope. There we go. Second time. Better. 
So what we're managing to do now is to produce these. Let's have a look over here. And now we've got our diamond, good. So we can take a diamond down to here and we can put that into this filter in it. I just put the wrong thing on there, never mind. Doesn't matter, we can remove that. Shift right click it down there. Try to get with it. I have to get the right bit. There we go. So we've got another thing to come in here, the emeralds. We can put a diamond in here like that. And you see the, these numbers are slowly increasing. And we're getting these these broken uh, ores into here. So let's move these broken ores out of here. So this needs to now be an input. And I don't want it going into the wall in any shape or form. Actually, that's coming out. That's OK. We don't want that to happen either. So let's make this now an, an insert into here. So then everything sh that we've got out of here should be inserted coming into here like that. Now we need to fill it. So it doesn't. So these are things are then filled. Now when I press remember here, like that. Now sorry, forget, yeah, remember. That remembers the layout. So if something, it can't put anything else in. And you'll see that's important in a, in a second or two. So now we can turn this on like that. And it's now started to produce some gravels for us. So let's take these out of here like that. And then you see this has now got a greyed out item because it used all of those. So that those now basically need to be hammered. So let's take the next item. I could have left them in, couldn't I? Let's take uh, some more item conjure. I don't need those there. Put those like that. And I'm just thinking where well, I want this to work. At the moment, I think I'll just do it straightforward like this because. The only thing that's going to come out of here is gravel. So we can simply turn that on and get these things to be processed automatically into the next thing. And then the hammer, we can just put something in. It's actually got some things, so let's put some copper ore in here. And you see it's got some cr crushed aluminium, some tin. What's we got in here? Iron. You see, this is fairly slow. It doesn't matter that it's slow because the, the rate that we're going to get these through is actually also fairly slow. When it's never get this, when it's the sieving process, it's reasonably slow. Still got one diamond. And you see, everything is coming out of here now. There's nothing in there at all. It should all be coming into here like that. And then everything out of here should be being hammered into here like this. So it will fill up eventually, so we get some more stuff. Now these are the ones we have to do next. So we're now going to set up some rules in here. And I'm going to do, try to do it in the same order as before. So I'll take like this and put that in there. Before I do that, I don't want it to work on to activate. That's good. I don't want it to process any of these ores because I want to do the same thing as I did last time. So we block off this like this. I think that's about seven. Yes, I think that's seven. And then we can apply that one. The next one, let's look over there here actually, is copper gravel. So let's do copper next. We haven't got all of the stuff we need. It's gonna take quite a while for this to actually work. And apply that. Put that up and put that into there. Next one is gold and then iron. So have we got any gold? We haven't got any gold yet. But we have got some iron, so let's put the iron in here like this. And apply that. What else have we got? Tin, that's actually the last seventh one. I think it's lead and silver and then tin, isn't it? So it'll be this one. And apply that. What else have we got in here? This wants to be hammered, this aluminium or gravel. Oh, I can put it into there like that. So 
we just should get some more aluminium coming into here like this, which we have. Now, the next thing, we want to pipe this in, actually into two different places. So we're going to do it on the top this time. So I'm going to put it on the top like this and feed it across. And I'm also going to do it in here as well. But for the time being, we're going to leave this so it doesn't get into this and to make sure this machine is also turned off like that. It takes a while to get this prepared. So, but that's basically it. So what else have we got in here now? Nothing yet. These should actually fill up. And then I want to remember the positions. So what we need to do now, so all the output of here, we need to extract it. And the only place I want this extracting to go is into, back into the hammer here. So the hammer needs to have a, basically an input and an output here. So we'll change this to input and output. Oops, that's been a bit difficult. I have to do it uh, here, don't I? Shift click this one. Uh, wrong. And then I try again. I put two away, didn't I? Like that. Right, let's see if I can just simply collect this one on here. I should just do it on the bottom, don't I? So basically, this has got to be in insert and extract. So input and output, and we don't actually care. So for the time being, we're going to let it insert everything into here, whatever it's going to come back. So it's only going to be these two. They're going to send items back. But they actually also need to send items forward, don't they? Well, this one does anyway. So maybe I can have to then change this one to being input and output as well. And the idea is, I mean, you can't get it wrong, so let's just change this to input. Now I think it's back one, isn't it? Like that. I'm going to leave the auto extract off for the time being. And let's have a look what we've got in here now. We've still got iron, copper, and aluminium. So we're still waiting for items to come out of here. And the only place it can go to is in the hammer here. So we've just got to wait. I don't think anything else is blocked. No, it's not. So I shall wait for a few minutes and come back when that's done. Hello, I'm back again now. And the, as you can see, the gravel's gone down about 10 stacks or something like that. And we should have enough items. Let's have a look what we got in here. Those are fine. That's been processed. Nothing in the output. And in here, of course, that's where it'll all be. So we've got all of this stuff. I might need to put in here somewhere a, another chunk loader to make sure this is running. But the first thing we're going to do is to actually, before I do that, is to put a, a jabber barrel here. And I'm going to upgrade it and I'm going to put on here and like that. Now that's interesting. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take one of these manganese oxides out of here like this. And I'm going to put this into the barrel like that and then I'm going to lock it so that only that can go in and I'm going to upgrade this as well so we'll put a avoid upgrade on it so we're going to first put uh, this have to shift and tight and then basically void upgrades require two slots so you have to do twice and what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to upgrade this storage capacity to 512 and then I can put the void upgrade in here and I'm going to remove a few of these because we don't want it connecting everywhere like that. And I'm just wanting to get this one to go into it. So now it should start to increase. So that's basically, we've got a storage of this if you want it. I could do the same underneath here again for um, silicon dioxide. Sometimes silicon dioxide is useful to be able to access, as you can see now. These are coming out slowly, and the cobblestone, uh, and the this will actually be increased, should be decreasing a little bit, I think. So, we should now be getting more stacks of that. So, we are right now back to where we were. This one, so I've got some more crushed iron. I I'm not going to put that in at the moment because that's full. So, let's just come along here and take out the other ones we need. Um, let's take, take them all out of here for the time being. And then just sort my inventory and then come back in here. So 
crushed aluminium we've dealt with, crushed copper we've dealt with, gold. Next one. Like that, put that in there and apply that. Iron, lead. And apply that. Silver. And apply that. And tin we've already done, that's good. So then we can remember this like that. And now, since that's remembered, we can then activate this. And you'll see all of these things getting produced straight away. We can actually force these in here. They won't go into other slots, you see. Getting up used fairly fast, but I can't put them in anywhere else. So that's guaranteeing that we get the right things in here. Now these, of course, need to come out. And they need to come back into here. Now the only place they can go at the moment would be... Maybe into here as well. Oh no, it can only go into here. So we can activate the output on this. So it's input, output, extract is now always active. So these should now be coming back into here, I hope. So we've got some sand, fantastic. Now this is going to take a while to process these through. And what's happened here, the iron and the silver should be coming out of here as well, going into here. I don't know whether I've activated the extract on here. Let's just, I must have done. Oh no. So now everything that's in here should be coming out into here. Let's have a look at this. That's fantastic. As, as we had expected to work, because now we've got the aluminium in here. We have to wait for that to be processed, and now we can start to pro get these rules set up. So again, it's turned off. I filled up the slots here. We start with the first recipe, which is aluminium. Basically, put that in there like that, and then apply that. So now it'll make aluminium. And that aluminium will then go out. In fact, we could even quickly enable that into this furnace here. Well, into this smelter. If I disable the smelter, we should see that working. So let's just do that. Then let's just uh, turn this on. So then you know you've got two here. Turn it off again. So we've got these two aluminium dusts. So this just needs to be activated. So then they should be in here. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I just need to activate this and then they'll be smelted and come down here. And the last step of this process is to send these back out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another roundel. So we'll use this. This is probably the best tool for this. A set of roundels here. Left click that. We've got another roundel. Roundel, let's go back to the Sonic Screen Driver configure mode here like this. And then simply right click this now we need to put in its place here a TARDIS interface item duct cable connector like that and connect the item duct to it oops now that will actually then go out but we need to really configure this what will happen with this it should come out of here and it should end up in that sorting chest so let's have a quick look at what we're, how that's going to work. So at the moment we've got two I two in here. Oops, just missed the wrong one. Turn that back to normal. We've got two aluminium ingots in here. So let's go back to the crafting bench. Probably the best way is the sonic screwdriver and transmat. Here. Now aluminium is this one here, I think. It is. There's actually two types of aluminium. And you actually do need both types. Some recipes work with and some recipes don't work without. So we've got exactly one stack of aluminium in here. And I'll just lock that into place. In fact, I should lock all of these into place, shouldn't I? Like that. And I've also got diamonds, emeralds, lapisuli, and uh, redstone, which don't come from there. We have to get those for a different process. And these ingots, we should keep locking these into place like that. 
and because we need to do that one and the other one that we haven't got there yet is coal right let's go back again and then now we activate this and we'll see that we should have one stack and two ingots in there a quick explanation as to why so on here I've got an item duct coming out here yeah? and it's going into the sorting sorting chest the sorting chest is configured just normally and this one here is configured so it's actually I think it's also just a normal sorting chest I think they should be configured to minus so that they only the stuff that doesn't sort goes into these as I'll check that so let's go back and they're all connected together those sorting yes I like this mod actually one of my favorites so how are we doing here let's just check that out now you see we've got plenty of silicon dioxide and it's not being thrown away so that should then be processed here if this is actually probably running out of power I don't know see it's just happily processing these away producing gravel coming in going out and the gravel's coming straight into here it's not full so it'll never be it should never be full processed so let's have a look how we're doing now we should have start to get into here more dust we've only got aluminium so far so what's sort of happened next is I reckon that we've got all the dust gone to ah these have got nowhere to go to so let's take the next one copper and we need to hammer copper so let's put that actually should come out into here why didn't it come out into here oh because it's still not set to <laughs> input and output is it that's strange let's just do fix that first of all so it wants to be input and output and the extract mode wants to be like that and that's fine so now it should start to get other ores into here so now we've got some copper so we come along here and we set the second rule to copper like that and then that's done too and we put the copper in there and then that's turned off so we wait for the next one so I'm going to wait a bit now and over time we should get all of these coming into here being processed um, I could speed it up actually I'm going to speed it up if I take what have we got here gold actually let's take the gold out of here like that and then put into here the gold the problem with doing this of course there's no way to feed this into here so maybe that's a good idea to do that quickly let's go and get a hopper and make sure we've got a manual sort of way to feed stuff into here if we need to do it and it's out of sequence which that does happen when you're setting stuff up so hoppers i think i'll have to craft one if i haven't got one already made maybe i have let's just quickly check nothing in there nothing in there let's quickly go and make a hopper One chest, we've got a chest, we'll make another chest specifically for the hopper. Two is enough. Iron, we've got, we need five of those. And then we can craft a hopper. There's no tinkers in galactic science, which makes life a bit more challenging but it's actually got some nice features as well so now if I put a hopper feeding into this on this side here like that and I take this off here because I don't want that to be connected in any shape or form uh, maybe I should do because it's uh, maybe I should put something on top of this Hoppers have this property of being causing lag if they've got nothing on top of them, but with one hopper it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So now we 
we can then feed the copper ore straight into here like this with the hopper and that should come into here when the gold's finished processing now we've got lead great so that's actually the next one so we've got some gold and some lead so let's come along here now and do the, the next rule that was gold wasn't it next rule like that and apply that after gold we should have iron so let's take some iron out of here we got some iron in here yes we have good so we need to just basically get some iron dust let's put that like that take this two and put them back into the hopper over here and as soon as we got some iron dust we can move on to the next level to the next step after after iron comes lead so let's just so we've got lead already done and then silver we should have some silver as well let's see if we've got some silver and that'll be in here yes we've got some silver okay let's do the same thing with silver so we start to get some silver and we're having to wait take the iron here and put the iron up into here so it'll get fed in right now irons next apply that and then lead we should have some lead now silver I mean I've got lead already yes I haven't put this I haven't put the lead recipe in yet good apply that and then silver And finally we need tin. We've got any tin. I crushed it a bit in here anyway, wouldn't it? Waiting to be um, processed. Oh tin should actually be in here. Oh yes, there we are. Right, tin. So we want to put one tin into here like that. So we should get some tin, put the iron back into here. So it can get processed in its old good time. So we've now got some silver and one tin. We only need one to set up the rules. We get four. Which is actually good because we normally get this is the idea, you get more than four. So the last one is tin. Bring that down here. Apply that. Put that into there. Remember the pattern and then turn it on. So now you can see everything's been processed and then everything should then get sent into the smelter here so we've got this aluminium on here did i turn that on should have come out no i haven't extracted it yet so it's always active so that should now have gone out which it has now you see the copper's gone through so we now quickly go back to the to the to here and we should see one stack and two aluminium that's right and the other one should sort of also start to come in here as well so let's trundle back again and that's basically the process finished and i hope it's not been too long this video they did get quite involved i know i don't want to do too many crafting recipes in this episode either because that's just tedious as it were oops that's not the first time i've done that it's very dangerous having that in your hand actually You'd probably move it out of the way food safe the worst you can do is eat if i can get into the hole again of course that should be seriously can't get down ladders right so everything looks fine there oh, it's been processed everything's looking fine there it's got two aluminium ore here and they've not come out and I'm not sure why yet probably because this is blocked with the iron if I remove these which would come out first they probably the iron in let's take remove these out of the way oh it's got it's got a queue on the other side over here look so some iron gravel came in so but that's all it is put those back into here then they should come back out when time runs so that's it 
everything seems to be working just fine. And the next thing I've got to do, of course, is to look at the power here. Certainly there's two problems with the power. One, I'm not producing enough. I'm only producing 500 RF per, per tick anyway. And that's in the power plant. I'm just going to have a quick look at the power plant. I'm not... The animals are still there, working, growing away. Here's the power. This is where the power is all generated in this tree. And you see, I don't like coming in here. I can pick up saplings all the time. So, I'm going to double click that and put the rest of those into there. Now, actually, that's maintaining good. That's actually maintaining the charcoal. So, but, of course, I've only got one vibrant turbine on here. So the whole thing of this is actually producing 500 RF per tick. And to upgrade that to maximum fortune, I'm going to have to double that and then change this cabling too, because this is only basic. So I shall do that, and I'll, until then, I'm going to say bye for now, and I'll see you next time.